but of all these options, one of the most traditional is still to give the deceased a big send-off in its own shiny casket. The largest manufacturer of caskets in the U.S. is the Batesville Casket Company. They supply over 40% of all funeral homes in the country. That's over 16,000 customers. They make wooden and metal caskets in their four North American plants. This plant in Indiana produces the bulk of the metal caskets. The plant manager is Todd Dennis. We make 1,000 caskets a day. It comes off the line every 55 seconds across two shifts, and we're able to supply our customers. That's, that is our customer demand right now. The first thing you notice about this complex is its size, almost 50,000 square meters. This plant makes 200 different designs of metal caskets. There's well over 249 parts within a single metal casket. It all starts with a roll of steel, which is cut to length and then placed in a 1,500 ton stamping press. We have seven different presses that form the part, trim the part, uh, give you the final shape, the outside appearance of the casket. The most important parts are formed in these presses. Smaller parts like the bolts, brackets, structural supports and hinges are also manufactured on site. Once the parts are manufactured, they're moved to the assembly line. Here, the sides and bottom are welded together to form the basic box of the casket. The casket is then sanded in preparation for metal finishing or painting. The casket is highly polished to give it a brilliant shine. When James Brown died, he was placed in a shiny gold casket similar to this one, style befitting the Godfather of Soul. The painting of a casket requires a detailed procedure. Currently, right now, we have 20 standard colors, and then, of course, custom colors. We can mix and match any paint that you can get. Once the casket is painted or polished, rubber gaskets are added along the edge and all the hardware is installed on the outside. But the piece of hardware that you don't see is the one that really matters. To ensure the casket will last underground, a strip is spot welded to the bottom, attracting the rust away from the metal of the casket. This small strip actually doubles the life of a metal casket. To keep production hopping, they added a series of robots, but not without adding some challenges as well. The implementation is the hard part to try to actually do the work and get that into the factory and integrate it with the human motions because robots do everything uh, the way they're programmed to do. But while the untiring work ethic of the robots has increased productivity, some of them still possess a human side. About the time the robots were going in, we had a gentleman who had spent years working in this station by the name of Albert. So they thought as a fitting tribute to Albert, when the machine was put in, as he's retired, as his going away present, they named the machine Albert and put his photo on there as well. Even with the addition of the robots, it took four hours to change the dies for each new piece of casket that had to be stamped. Not anymore. Now they've got it down to a science and can change over dies in 20 minutes or less. A lot of that was done through special mechanisms, die carts, uh, different bolts, different componentry within the tool, and then teamwork.
For a final touch, Batesville offers to personalize the interior of the casket. They offer thousands of embroidery designs, but they can also make them to order. We've made Harley Davidson caskets, we've made uh, Har uh, John Deere caskets, uh, Ferrari Red, uh, anything that uh, you can imagine, we will attempt to try to build. Uh, if you want a mom or a dad or a, a fishing scene or a golf scene, we can do those sort of things as well. Personalization extends beyond the type of lining, the color of the casket, or its fittings. Another feature makes this final resting place unique. A drawer can be installed inside the casket so that family members can have a special place to put letters or objects to accompany the dead. Before a casket is bagged for shipment, it gets one final inspection. Finally, the casket's barcode is scanned to determine if it's to be placed on a truck immediately or temporarily stored in their automated warehouse for future shipping. Speed is a challenge on both lines. For that. And often how we overcome that is we may have to fly a product to a uh, family or to a funeral home to serve that family. One of these caskets will run you anywhere from $1,400 to $10,000 but it will be delivered perfect and on time. To get to you fast, Batesville uses their own fleet of over 500 trucks, one of the largest private fleets in the US. They're ready to roll day or night so their clients can rest in peace and in style. <laughs>